In a previous lesson, we introduced vertex covers. I'll leave a link to that lesson in the description. Recall that a vertex is said to cover its incident edges, and so a vertex cover is a set of vertices that covers all edges of a graph. An important fact we touched on when we introduced vertex covers is that the complement of a vertex cover is an independent set. Recall that an independent set of vertices is a set of vertices, no two of which are adjacent. And of course, by the complement of a vertex cover, we mean the set of all vertices not in the vertex cover. I'll also leave a link in the description to my lesson introducing independent vertex sets if you need a recap on that. Today, I just want to take a couple minutes for us to prove this fact that the complement of a vertex cover is an independent set. This is an equivalent way that we could define vertex covers that I think makes the relation with independent sets a little bit more clear. To be a vertex cover means that every edge UV will have at least one of its end vertices in the cover. Thus, if we take the complement of that, there's no edge who will have both endpoints in the complement, and so there's not going to be any pair of adjacent vertices in the complement, and so it will be an independent set. I should have given you a spoiler warning, but that is why this is true without actually writing out the proof. So I encourage you to take a minute to try writing the proof yourself. It's pretty easy, just follows from definitions, and I'm going to use a contradiction argument for my proof. Hopefully you've given it a try. Let's go through the proof together. We'll say let G be a graph with vertex set V and edge set E. Then we'll have to take an arbitrary vertex cover. So we'll say suppose X, which is a subset of the vertex set V, suppose X is a vertex cover. That means it covers all edges of G. So every edge has at least one end vertex in the cover X. Now, we want to prove that the complement of X is an independent set. So we'll say suppose for contradiction that the complement of X, which we'll write X with a bar over the top of it, suppose for contradiction X complement is not an independent set. Now we'll be able to use the definition of independent set to get a contradiction. In order for X complement to not be an independent set, that means there must be two adjacent vertices in X complement. So there must exist two vertices, U and V, in X complement so that UV is an edge of the graph. Then the question we should be asking is this edge covered by the vertex cover X? Well, since U and V are in X complement, that means by definition of complement that those vertices are not in X. But that means neither of the end vertices of the edge UV are in the vertex cover X. So the edge UV is not covered by X. The edge UV not being covered by X is of course our contradiction. We assumed that X was a vertex cover. Since we see that the complement of a vertex cover not being an independent set leads to a contradiction, we have proven that the complement of a vertex cover is indeed an independent set. And this gives us some intuition for the theorem we will soon prove that the vertex covering number of a graph, beta of g, plus the vertex independence number of the graph, alpha of g, equals the order of the graph. N. Beta of G is the number of vertices in a minimum vertex cover, and of course a minimum vertex cover along with its complement by definition contain all the vertices. But since we've just shown that the complement of a cover is an independent set, we can see how a maximum independent set whose cardinality is the independence number, we can see how the sum of these numbers would have to be the total number of vertices in the graph. And again, we'll prove this in a later lesson. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Let me know if you have any questions. Spell